or something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or... I don't know, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I... <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously? Do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show. And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... All right, fine. Let's get through this. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. Done. Great. Now turn it off. Press the stop button on the record player. All right, up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. All right, Peggy, ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don, you get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So. Let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now come on, the Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. Come on, Forrest. Just press the button. <sighs> press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Play a song, grab the sliders, and move them up and down. Go nuts. Sliders should be right in front of you, like directly in front. Sliders should be right in front of you, like directly in front. All right, seems to be all working. We done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing, local time, yeah, I should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, you're live in three, two... 
Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late-night phone-in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. (sighs) Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and... Guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to... Guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Teddy Gallows Jr. Yes, that's is a family is man, a, a devout idea. Christian, and a proud no, patriot. I, I Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Uh, that doesn't mean like it his be father fun. and all his fathers before him, we're going to need a Teddy Gallows tonight, Jr. has worked hard to create jobs. Improve infrastructure and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor, depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh God. Sorry about that. (laughs) I'm back. Had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. (laughs) Well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guess. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the Glam Jam. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Light it up, Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Time to turn the music off. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No! Look, I found a body and I need your help. (laughs) 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... 
I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... I don't I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. Any chance you could break down the door? It's a holding cell, Forrest. These doors aren't budging for anybody. Is there another way into the holding cell that you can see? It wouldn't be much of a holding cell if it had a back door. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Have you looked around the officer's desks? That's the first place I'd check. That was the first place I'd check, too. I couldn't find anything useful, though. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Oh. Please don't stare at me. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, 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 th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do! Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? I, I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like, like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just going to sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. 
If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I... What? <laughs>